Hello there, it's Sandy Allnock, and I'm going to be unboxing two orders of custom wax seal stamps. I ordered both the, the stamps and some wax from both, and I'm not an affiliate for either one, just so you know. Stamptitude is the first one. It's in Hong Kong, and they're a little higher priced, primarily because they only do FedEx shipping, so you have to add that on to whatever you order. And since I was ordering a custom stamp, I threw in some wax on my order to make it worthwhile. And they send you fun emails along the way, all kinds of things telling you where your package is in the shipping, which is really fun. I ordered the custom gift wrap because I wanted to see what that experience would be like. I have a couple that's getting married this summer and wanted to send them potentially a monogrammed stamp. And I thought I would see what this company was like before ordering it for them. Mine came in this box and had all kinds of bubble wrap around everything, so I removed all that so you don't have to look at it here. I had tried to order a bag of a sample of all of their different wax colors, and they didn't have that, so they swapped out a few things. This is one of the extras that they gave me when they canceled that item and threw in some other stuff to make up for it. Raleigh Paper here in the United States sells their stuff, so if you're not ordering a custom stamp, you can get the wax and everything from Raleigh. And here's one of the sealing wax sticks that I ordered in denim. And then they sent me, instead of having the pebbles in all the different colors, they sent me sticks. So this is a, a range of all the different colors, which would be really fun to play with. And I'm going to test them out. And then a, a jar of the stone wax pebbles that I had ordered. And that's the size of it. And each one of their pebbles is a different shape than other pebbles or beads. People call them my different names. They're all basically the same thing. Everybody has a custom way they deliver their wax. But here's another thing that they sent in replacement for the items they didn't have, which was this kit. And the kit, I think, would be a really good pairing if you're going to send a monogram stamp to a couple, say, for a wedding gift. Get them this along with it, and then they can have everything they need to make their very first wax seals. So if they're doing their thank you notes, this would be a great thing for them to have. They get some wax with it, they get a candle with it, and they get a spoon with it. That's a different spoon than I've seen in other companies that have sold me spoons. So so there's that. Just remember any metal spoon is going to get hot on your fingers eventually if you do a whole lot of wax seals at the same time. But here is my custom stamp. I'm so excited. The little card has directions on the back of it for how to do a wax stamp. For the stamp itself, you have all kinds of customizability. You can make the handle different colors. You can choose the font you want. You can do two letters, three letters, a whole bunch of different borders they have, different sizes, lots of different ways you can customize. But since I had an order that I needed to pack the day that I was shooting all this other video, I thought, well, let me just shoot that too. And I'll do my first test stamping on this one. This is a painting that I did in my backyard looking up into my big vine maple tree. And it sold on Instagram really quickly. Very excited by that. If you ever see something and you're like, I have to have that, then send me a direct message right away because they're going quickly nowadays, which is good. So I wrap it in some heavy backer board and then glassine. And then I write out a card, usually one of my bigger cards, because then I don't have to deal with the postage thing, especially if I'm using something fancy like a black envelope like I did here. I don't have to worry about the post office not wanting to deliver a black envelope. And then I wrap the whole thing in craft and tape it on the back and then leave one opening, one slit on one side, and then that gets sealed with the wax stamp. So let's use their kit that they sent along with this and see how this works. I wanted to show you one of the ways that you can use a wax stick. And this goes for both the candle types or the glue gun types. So whatever kind of stick you have, <clears throat> excuse me, as long as it's long enough to hold it and you don't burn your fingers, you can just hold it in the spoon. And depending on the wax, it might take a long time to melt. This Stamptitude wax melts faster than any other wax that I have experienced so far, which was really nice. Um, the other ones, a lot of them, you just sit there forever, which is why I like having my little wax oven thing, my little wax stove that I can rest my spoon on and then I can 
you know, go check social media while I'm waiting for it to melt or something. But this melted quickly enough. It was not like, oh my goodness, I'm sitting here forever with it. You could also cut off chunks of it and throw it in there and just let the wax melt in there on its own without having to hold the wax stick, which you'll have to do when you get to the end of the stick anyway. And then just check it to see how, how much wax is in there. Is it enough for what you're going to be stamping? And then put down the wax, generally about the same size or if you want to a little bit bigger than the stamp you're using. And you don't have to press down really hard. Usually the weight of the stamp will press the design into it. And then you have your finished seal. Isn't it pretty? And then I wrap this whole thing into whatever other kind of packaging is needed, depending on the size of the piece. Does it need a lot more cardboard? Does it need any bubble wrap, etc.? Now the rest of the colors I wanted to test out and try, but I didn't have a whole lot of stuff to stamp at the time. So I just grabbed a scrap of the glassine and started making seals on that and then peeling them off. So you can make them ahead of time. I've had several people suggest that I do that. Just make a whole bunch of them production style. And what I find is that it doesn't feel very natural. It doesn't feel like I'm authentically sealing the artwork, which is the point of doing this, is to make it feel like this is this is your seal of authenticity. Now, the ones that I got in that package have a perfectly round seal because whoever did those knows what they're doing. <laughs> Unlike mine, you can see how lumpy mine are. I can't make like a little perfect circle of adhesive that's going to hold all this down. So all of my little flappy doos outside of my wax seal would end up not being stuck to the paper. So I am going to be pouring each one of mine as I make it, which I don't find to be an onerous thing. I find it to be very relaxing and it's a way of giving an extra gift to the person who purchases my artwork. I want them to feel very special and feel very taken care of when they receive their artwork. But all of these, I just wanted to test out and see how they worked. The wax melts beautifully. As I said, some of them almost seem to have a little mica in them, but they're not shiny. They're more on the dull side. The Artist Air ones, these waxes you're going to see are very shiny. So you get a real gloss to them. This is my second order from Artist Air. I was very pleased with my first order and just as pleased with the second. They have nice packaging around theirs as well. They send you a little thank you note. And then here are the two colors that I ordered. Theirs come in little baggies and different companies will send them in different ways depending on the company itself and how they deliver their wax. And then these are my two stamps. Yes, I ordered two stamps because I was very excited. When I saw this one, it said it was three-dimensional and I wanted to know what the heck is a three-dimensional stamp? Like, do I need more of these? And you'll see in a few minutes that maybe I do because it's beautiful. So I ordered that one, and then here is my custom logo. Oh my gosh, super excited about having this one for business correspondence. The one that I got from Stamptitude might be for personal, and then this could be for business, or I could use both of them, I don't know. They also sent me some extra goodies, a little thank you, a couple of thank you seals, and a little sheet with some tips. And then I put mine into these jars. I bought a set of 24 jars so I could have all of my different wax from all different companies, at least the beads, into jars that all matched and they all could sit in one place together because I was getting to have a mess around here with tons of bags and little cups and little who knows what with all the different wax. So I've been trying to wrangle what the heck to do with it all so that I don't get taken over by wax seal supplies but I stamped a wax seal on top of each one of these jars using the brand new three-dimensional rose. And I was so excited. It is so beautiful. I'll show you a side view of it in a moment that is going to get you all excited too. I think I'm going to need to find more of these three-dimensional wax seals because it just has something extra to it that is gorgeous. If you think about those layering stamps where you get different levels of color, here you get different levels of wax and you get to see the rose kind of just built up three-dimensionally. I mean, just look at that yumminess. Isn't that beautiful? So that is the Artist Air colors that I have. And then I had to, of course, go do all the other colors 
because I'm a weirdo that way. You do not have to swatch your colors, just so you know that. I just did because it's beautiful. And I bought a little shelf over at Goodwill and spray painted it black so I could put all these little jars in one spot together. They fit all perfectly. And that is my storage for my wax. But let's get back to my custom logo stamp. I chose to use the lavender color and I think I'm going to have to try to find somebody who sells the perfect yellow, like my logo yellow kind of color. I have not found exactly that yet. I found other weird yellows and other golds and things and I can kind of get my yellow by mixing colors, but I'm hoping to find somebody that sells my perfect color at some point. And if I do, you know, I'm going to let you know. So I stamped this onto the envelope and the wax, remember, from Artist Air is much shinier than you'll get from other waxes. So if shiny is what you're after, this is definitely the company for you. The Stamptitude has beautiful products as well. You can get theirs at Raleigh. I'm going to put links to everything in the doobly-doo down below. So if you need to go shopping, you can. But if you don't need to, then just come back and visit me for another art video because I'll be doing that next. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.